We have two laps of Alexander Stadium for the men's 800 metre final. Scottish interest in this one. You know, the records, what tough records they are. Not just talking about the world record of 140.91 by David Radisha, but that record by Steve Cram, the game's record of 143.22. Stood the test of time for a reason. There is Peter Boll of Australia. He'll start in lane number five. Could he become just the second man to win the Commonwealth title for Australia in this event? Looked good in qualifying, but as did two or three of the other athletes around him. Big opportunity for Peter Boll. Coming off the back of those recent world championships in Oregon, finished in a top eight position. Kinyamal of Kenya, though, the reigning champion, will start in the lane inside the Australian athlete. This has got the makings of a great race, Catherine. Ball is aiming to become the first Australian to win this title in 40 years. Kinyamal aiming to become the first in history to successfully defend the crown. It could be epic. So here's the start list then for the men's 800 metre final. England, Scotland, Jamaica, Ghana, Kenya and Botswana are represented. Kenya have won this title nine times. Can Kinyamal of Kenya make that ten gold medals for Kenya? in this 800 metres. Navaski Anderson of Jamaica then will start in lane number nine. Their national champion, 145.02 this year. Studies in the USA from Kingston, Jamaica. Jamie Webb of England will start in eight. Look very good in qualifying. A semi-finalist at the World Championships in 2019. A European indoor bronze medal last year. Also looking good in qualifying. Ben Patterson of England. The 20 year old. The last two, three years, he's absolutely been flying. Alex Amankwa, 144.8 at his best. Disqualified at the World Championships. The national record holder from Ghana starts in six. Peter Bolden of Australia. Fourth at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Mr. Medal by half a second. He starts in five. Whitecliffe Kinyamal of Kenya, the reigning champion. Eighth at the World Championships recently in Oregon. There'll be a huge draw for Scotland's Guy Learmont. He'll start in lane number three. Six at the Commonwealth Games back in 2014. A semi-finalist back in London at the World Championships. Boitumelo Masilo of Botswana. Running the heats of the Rio Olympics back in 2016. Inside 146 at his best. So, the crowd have had a Nice little taste of women's middle distance running with that tasty women's 1500 metre final. On your marks. Potentially, they're in for an absolute treat here. The final of the men's 800 metres. Can this athlete, Peter Boll of Australia, hold off the Kenyan charge, hold off the English charge? Going round the first bend for the first time. Kinyamal in lane number four. Happy to get in to the pole position potentially they cut across down the back straight this is a massive night for Australia after Ollie Hall won the 1500 metres a little bit of shoulder barging remember last year in Tokyo Ball led until about 30 metres from the finish line and it's the Jamaican now getting his heels clipped Anderson on the outside the gun in just keeping out the way there a man quite, quite sensibly Kinyamar remember bidding to become the first man in history to successfully defend this title but there's all sorts going on here as they're jostling for position the two big guns in first and second who's going to go for it first 55-5 at the 400 meter point it's tight keep an eye on Jamie Webb the English athlete there on the left of your shot coming onto the shoulder of the Ghanaian Kinyamal Paul Webb the piercing stare of Webb of England trying to hold on to the change of pace from Kenya and Australia. Guy Learmonth on the inside for Scotland in fourth. Kenya Mars going for this with 200 to go. 
He makes his bold bid for glory. Ball is hanging on. Remember, no Australians won this for 40 years. But he's spawning back here. Can Kenya Mark continue to pull away? It's between these two. Kenya Mark, Paul. Look at Patterson for England. It's a battle for the gold. It's going to be won by the Kenyan. 147.52, a pat on the shoulder from Peter Ball of Australia who picks up the silver medal. Brilliant running by England's Ben Patterson to pick up the bronze. But he collapses to the ground. The 25-year-old Kenyan came here to defend his title. A Wycliffe Kinyamal of Kenya does pick up the 10th gold medal for Kenya in the men's 800 metres. What a race. Brilliant from the Kenyan. He went early and he knew he had the high quality Peter Ball, born in Sudan, now proudly, proudly representing Australia. The 800 final last year was the most watched moment from the Olympic Games from the Australian public. He's a massive, massive star, Ball, and that was also a massive, massive performance by the youngster Ben Patterson. He looked really good this season, had a great run in Stockholm. I thought he might feature, but Kenyamal was bold enough to go with about 2.20 left. And despite the fact that Ball went with him, he wound it up and wound it up. And that is a brilliant, brilliant way to take the title. No one has ever gone back-to-back -back victories. He is the first. Do you know what? If you're going to go into the last 300 a metre down, you've got to know you're a metre quicker than the bloke in front of you. And he wasn't. He finished about a metre down. And Kinyamal, you're right, took the initiative. I think Bolt tactically got it 95% right. He maybe should have wanted to be on the curb, in the lead with 300 to go, and he wasn't. And that's what ended up being decisive. Here it is, down the back straight. They still haven't really hit the hammer flat out here. I mean, it was almost a 250 race cast. It was. Jamie Webb committed, didn't he, and tried to go with the leading two. He ended up in fourth place at 148.6. But Kinyamal here put his foot down. But keep your eye on Ben Patterson. The English athlete who picked up a bronze, 20 years old. The last three years, he's taken a second off his lifetime best every single year. A 144.6 runner awarded with a bronze medal here. But no, the Kenyan, not today, not to be denied. And picked up the gold medal in that exciting men's 800 metres. We knew it was going to be a battle, Rob, potentially between these two. And it didn't disappoint. Oh, it was a brilliant race. He was bold. And as Jim said, that first couple of steps when you put the accelerator on, if you then run the rest of the race at the same pace, you've already got that half a yard. This is where he really started to motor round this bend. Patterson came from miles back. He was third last at this point, and now comes his charge to get himself on the podium. Everybody's really excited about Max Bergen in England, and Bergen is brilliant, but he keeps getting injured. Patterson stepping out of his young compatriot's shadow. But Kinyamal kept driving, kept pushing, kept believing. And it was the fact that he hit the gas first that just got him over the line. Well, he's got a personal best of 46.55 seconds over 400 metres, the Kenyan. And the speed was used there to win the gold medal. There's confirmation. Can you pick up the gold with Wycliffe Kinyamal? 147.52, a silver for Peter Ball of Australia. Ben Patterson picks up the bronze.